He is in the building. I'm talking about Al B. Sure. And he's on this song right here. I didn't know this was you singing in the background. You can call me crazy. This guy right that's, here, I'm B. That's me singing, that's me singing the lead. And the oh, background. Bye. And the background. Hey. <laughs> <Don't you better laughs> <hurt. laughs> okay, we'll talk after this. I remember that. Yeah. Let's be and Timmy Gavin. Uh-huh. I forgot the word. <laughs> 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 Too many years. It's been a minute. That's, That's crazy. crazy. You know that it's true. You can call me crazy. Yeah. 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 You know that it's true. You can call me crazy. Yeah. 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 Hey. Okay. Oh. Wow. I couldn't find this on CD. <laughs> the evolution. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 18. 21. Dang. Yeah. 28. 30-something. 18. Came out 18. Crazy, yeah. Damn. How many years ago was that? Okay. This is 05. Oh, wow. I so we just had to celebrate 30 years. So this is this came out 30 years ago. Uptown MC and other town Warner Brothers. And then I want to show y'all something so crazy right now. Oh my God! <laughs> Damn, that is crazy. crazy. You know she was on every every album, right? You know who that is, right? That's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Sorry about your loss. Damn. I ain't know she was on every album. Yeah, but most of them, yeah. Wait, who is that in there? You're listening to B109, your favorite throwbacks today's R&B. And speaking of throwbacks, uh-uh. Wow. Al B. Sure is in the building right now, y'all. He's going to be a jazz fest tomorrow. Al B. Sure, that song right there, like you're singing a song? I didn't know that. Wow, yeah, you know what it takes me back. Um, I guess I'm officially the fourth member of Guy. Cause <laughs> Teddy and I worked together so much, you know, from back in the day. But, yeah. But he also worked with me on my album, you know, If I'm Not Your Lover. I mean, just all type of stuff. But he was such a such a major influence as mm -hmm. it relates to teaching me the street version of producing. He's like a he's like a ghetto Beethoven. Yeah. It, like he knows how to keep it, you know, grimy. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, but it's always you know it's a movie. Every every song he does is like a movie. So yeah. Um, and then obviously, and then I learned the polished version from Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. So having both educations, it, it was just absolutely amazing. Just it was such a blessing. So you sang the vocals and the background, yeah. all, everything on it. Mm -hmm. And then that's uh, and that's Timmy Gatlin who was on the who was singing over the top of like you know, verse a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it, let me tell you something. But again, it just shows you just that whole uptown flavor. We just all worked together. It was mm -hmm. like, we all just got along. And, and it was, I love a, it. It was a beautiful thing. And all Uptown Records was, you know, with you know, Joe to see, Guy, yeah. Albert Shore, yeah, Jeff Red, honey. Heavy D in the book. Y'all introduced the new Jack Swing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that, no, that was Teddy's creation. And uh, you know, a, I'm just an ambassador. In the game. Ambassador. <laughs> That's right. Well, you can see this ambassador tomorrow at Jazz Fest, and it starts at uh, 6 o'clock, but get there at 5, y'all. Yeah, that's right. The <laughs> that's right. Get there at 5. That's right. Make sure you get your seats. It's a family affair. Please, everyone come out. You can actually visit albeshaw.net mm -hmm. forward slash Jazz Fest NC. And okay. you can get your tickets. You can get, you know, I'll be running around the city as well tonight. I'm going to be at Stats. Tonight and uh, doing a little meet and Wait greet. Wait a minute, now you. Oh yeah. You still got it in you now, Al. Come on, you know I'm a workhorse. I'm a thoroughbred. Listen, after you, you when say you thoroughbred. Yeah, when, when you, you talk about working, JD. I don't know. <laughs> I don't mind talking about that. I, well, yes, I heard you. When you turn, you know, so I celebrated a milestone. Obviously, I turned 50, but I'm 51. You know. I'm 52. And uh, yeah, and this year, over the past year, I lost you know 100 pounds. What? 100 pounds. How'd you lose 100 pounds, Al? I threw up a small child and a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, we got more music right here. This is Missy Elliott. She made history. She was the first female to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And she got a doctorate as well mm -hmm. one of the universities. Go, Missy. Yes, huh. honey. You listen to V. Hey, can I get out of room? I got my drop from my B, a house full of men folk, y'all. I'm excited. Al B. Sure still in the building. And uh, Al, you, of course, are performing at Jazz Fest tomorrow. Tomorrow and is I'm the official host the of official the Queen host. City there you go. Jazz I love Festival. it. I love it. Also in the building, my trainer. Now you, Troy. Troy. Why am I saying Troy? What's wrong with me? Why can't I get it together? His name is Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Excuse me. Fit. Don't play me. I'm so sorry. Roy is Come on, also just because you building. got Al B in the building, don't, <laughs> don't play me. <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, listen. She, she's so got sorry. every flavor in the bill. I know. <laughs> Asian flavor over there. Okay. What's up? What's up? Yes, honey. I like it. So, uh, Roy is his name. Yes. And uh, Roy, what is your name? Yes, and you said you lost 100 pounds. Over the past year, 100 pounds officially. You know what? It, it's, it's this simple. I just wanted to live. Mm -hmm. so, and so Roy can speak to that, obviously. Absolutely. You know, I was dealing with you know, diabetes type 2, things of that oh. nature. Um, and I think the best part of the story, which kind of made me really wake up, is I had this amazing, my favorite person in the world, besides my son, is my grandson. Mm. Okay, Chase. We're in the backyard at the house, swimming, having a good time, enjoying ourselves. And before he leaves, you know, we get sensitive because I, you know, I miss him and I, I go into this thing. So, and he, he looks at me with his little face. He turned mm -hmm. five and he mm -hmm. looks at me. It's okay, Pop Pops. Don't, don't, don't worry. I'll see you soon. But guess what? And I said, buddy. So he touches me on his stomach and he goes, Pop Pops. And this is August. He says, you can play Santa Claus at my next birthday. Oh my God. Oh. That did it, didn't it? Well, listen. That's crazy. They, they do yeah. tell you the truth. And that was kind of, you know, where I made a decision, you know, you know, when he was four. And, I just said, uh, you know, I was out of breath chasing him around the backyard mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And I, I really ballooned to, uh, you know, a significant, uh, you know, significant yeah. obesity and yeah, you know, yeah. diabetes type 2 and what have yeah. you. So I just decided, you know what, you know, and it was funny, my youngest son, uh, Quincy, he says, come on, Pops, you got to be in charge of your star player. You got to be yeah. in charge. You got to take charge of your health. And Roy's going to be talking about that in a few minutes. I think he want to hit on fat. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we talking about fat, so we're on the same page right now. Yeah, but you're really fast. good looking, and I'm a heterosexual. Oh, Lord, <laughs> so, have mercy. So I wish I was young like you. Dude, we're the same era. We the same he era. said era, not age. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Somebody's on the phone, Al, he sure want to talk to you, baby. He's not yeah, that good looking on. in person. <laughs> that's a hologram. <laughs> Yes, he is. He's killing us, killing the game. Let the people know around the globe where you're from. So I'm from, I'm from, I'm well, I'm from New York, from Brooklyn. I, that's I represent Far Rockaway Dreams, grew up, but I'm in the Queen City, living in Charlotte for the last 15, 16 years, spreading love, spreading uh, the health and wellness gospel, you know, trying to get myself healthy, but take a few thousand people along with me. How, how can they find you on social media? So, the uh, name of my company is remnantfitness.com. They can also um, show me love on my Facebook, Roy Henderson, um, or Remnant Fitness uh, fan page. Mm -hmm. uh, in the studio right now, I got, he's all about working out. You know, it's the first Friday of the month, and we always do Friday fitness with Roy. I got your name. I don't know what happened. <laughs> ah, his name is Roy. I know yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about fat. And of course, I'll be sure still in here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate Thank you for allowing me to be here. Okay. So, okay. So yeah, fat. So so I'll be sure to touch on it. He lost 100 pounds, mm -hmm. and that's an incredible feat. And that's a small child and their friend. <laughs> it <laughs> is, you know. <laughs> so he talked about sugar, giving up the sugar. So it's one of the first things that I tell people to do. They're like, how can I lose? How can I lose weight real quick? What can I do? I said, stop eating sugar. Mm. That's simple. You know, you can and it's in everything. Like 21 days of no bread, rice, pasta, or soda. Butts and guts challenge. Just, just start it. Just start it somewhere. I mean, you just gotta, it's got to start somewhere, and you got to really. And forget the, oh, this is a cheat day. Yeah. Forget that. No just cheat do, day. 21 no cheat days of no bread, rice, pasta, or sugar, any type of soda or juice. Just drink some water, and you will see. Everything will be so much right? clearer. Your skin, your eyesight, mm -hmm. just your thinking. Everything. Everything starts to clear because sugar is worse than heroin. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is kind of like heroin, being, isn't it? Being Roy? addictive. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. That, as, as we were talking over air, that's why we got these billion-dollar corporations that, that have all that processed food. Yep. It just keeps us coming back like crack patients. Oh my God. And 3,500 calories equals one pound. 3,500 calories. So sometimes you don't see the difference in your working out because a good workout is about 500 calories. So if you work hey. out six days a week, that's mm -hmm. only 3,000 calories. You don't lose any pounds. So it's in your eating. People, stop eating sugar. There stop eating go. processed food. There you go. Well, Take stop control. eating it. Eat from the earth. Eat clean. Train dirty. That's what we're getting ready to do in a few minutes because the midday mixtape is right around the corner and QCB is in the studio and he is going to do a demonstration for us on Facebook. So go ahead and start following us now. Go to JD Diva or Janine Davis. We're coming back with more music and some tickets to Jazz Fest too. Right here on V. Oh, shit, oh, shit.